Williams, two games only last year. Boy, did they miss him. Wobbles one towards Green, ball to the way. It's nice to see uh, Gleeson back. He's, he's missed a heap of footy and he was really developing well just before he had that nasty injury. So it's great to see him back playing. Well, Marty, thanks very much for joining us. 656 days have passed since your last game. Could you have asked for a better return? No, nah, I don't know. The boys were super. I um, felt like we were always in the game, ready to come. And in that last five, ten minutes, we really um, show what we can do. So, no, nah, it was awesome. Were you confident that you could catch them, though? I know you're always in the game, but did you feel like you could really get there at the end? Yeah, I did. I felt like we were really on top throughout the game. Um, they just got a few goals at crucial times, but we just really turned up the pressure and kept the ball in our forward half. And um, no, it was great to finish off strongly like we did. What was going through your head in the dying stages there after we kicked the last goal? Yeah, oh, I actually just came off the bench. I was starting to cramp everywhere, so I was pretty happy. But um, no, I just I knew the boys. We knew what to do. We knew what we had to do to win the game. So um, the boys done it and executed, and it was great. What does it mean to you to be back out there after all of your hard work in the last couple of years? Yeah, it's pretty special, I guess, just for me and then all the people that have helped me along the journey as well. Um, I'm just as happy that they're enjoying it as much as I am. Um, been a long time, but no, I'm stoked to be back and I'll keep going now. How did you find the pace of the game in your, in your first game in quite a long time? Yeah, not too bad. First quarter I thought was pretty quick. I was pretty knackered, but then sort of settled enough that. I thought, yeah, the first quarter, was, the, um, the pace was on, but then we sort of settled into our game plan and um, it was there. Yeah, it was a lot better. Playing alongside experienced defenders like Kyle Hooker and, and Michael Hurley before Hooksy went forward, of course, does it really help you settle in? Yeah, it does, and I played a bit of footy with them, obviously prior to getting injured as well, so no, I love playing alongside them. Boys there are coming, influence down there, and um, they were both awesome tonight, so it was great. Looking at the team now, how proud are you of the way that you really bounced back after losing T-Bell in particular? Yeah, awesome. For Horsey on the ruck and compete the way he did, then Hooksy went forward and, and kicked two and competed. Um, no, it was super. That's a great testament to them boys and to the rest of the side for filling in for everyone and um, finishing off strong. And another player who had a big milestone today, David Zaharakis. Being able to do that for him, does that make it extra special? Yeah, it does. You always want to um, go out and try and get a win for the boys in their milestone matches. So it's something that he'll remember forever and um, it's something that we'll remember as well. So, no, nah, it's great. What kind of confidence do you take out of this game now? Giants are obviously one of the leading teams in the competition. Do you feel like you're right up there now? Yeah, I guess for us it's just about continual improvement. We can't... Um, uh, rest on our laurels now that we beat the Giants, we've just got to continue to improve, train hard each week and commit to what we're doing. So if we do that, um, hopefully we finish off the year strong. Looking forward to the next game against the Swans? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, be good. Uh, I've got to recover up now, ready to go, but no, nah, it'll be great. Congratulations again. Enjoy the celebration. No, nah, no worries. Thanks, guys. Cheers.